hi there it's me the yellow dude and i'm back again with a new video in this video i'm doing a challenge in which i'm gonna be making a game in different game engines the game engine list includes godot unity roblox game maker gdevelop and construct and then at the end there will be a secret game engine which you may or may not be familiar with so this video is the first part of the series and in this one we are doing godot versus unity yeah i know unity sucks but um, uh, the game I'm making is a simple game where the blocks are falling and you have to avoid them, easy peasy right? As I'm not familiar with most of the game engines here, that's why I chose this game idea. Alright, let's just jump into the video now. So I created a new Godot project and got started with setting up the scenes for player, block and the ground. And then made the blocks fall down and spawn on random exposition above the game field so we can see them spawning. After that I made a simple left right movement with gravity and we had a basic game. Then I started making some particles for the block. When the block's gonna collide with the player or the ground, the block is gonna be destroyed and that's where the particles were gonna be emitted. So I made the particle system to work and the game was almost finished. All there left was the restart button so I made one and the game was finished in less than an hour. So in Unity, I started with making a player controller. I have used Unity in the past for 3 to 5 weeks, so I was quite familiar with how it works, but still the movement took quite a long time. After that, I started making the block spawner and I took a little help from my good old friend GPT. Yeah, I am talking about chat GPT. While I was making this spawner, uh, due to my, um, uh, yeah, the unity crashed three times during this and uh, yeah, I know unity sucks. And with that, I finished the game with making a restart button and the game was done in an hour and nine seconds. And that was for this part where I made the same game in Unity and Godot and well as always Unity sucks. Anyways I'll see you in the next one, bye.